What's going on, guys? I'm Jay the Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this situation with Drake, man. Apparently, there is a guy that is coming forward by the name of Jamie Sun. Apparently, he was dating a female that makes music. And I guess they got a call from Drake. And they got flown out to meet Drake, to hang out with him. Then next thing you know, Drake is smashing his girl. Now, I don't know if it was on that same trip that they took together. I don't know how far back this was. But apparently, this guy is coming forward speaking on this. Now, I think a lot of this stemmed from a reddit post let me go to reddit real quick this is the reddit post here and it's about a female by the name of naomi sharon which is let me show y'all a picture that's her on the right and that's her boyfriend on the left okay that's her on the right that's him on the left now they've been dating for eight years and they were engaged to be married but who knew that a trip to go meet I guess your idol, one of your favorite artists, will turn into a situation where you go to meet him, he fly y'all in, you go to work out with him. Next thing you know, he's smashing your girl during a studio session, allegedly. And we're going to get into this article. I have two different articles here, but we're going to get into this one from Hip Hop DX. It says, the growing track record of Drake's entanglement with women and suing drama with their significant others has seemingly been extended. The In My Feelings rap and R&B Goliath is accused of being a certified home wrecker of singer Naomi Sharon and her beau eight-year relationship, uh, eight relationship during his certified Loverboy album recording sessions. According to a viral post on Reddit and Sharon's partner Jamie's son, he spilled the tea on Instagram on April the 21st about ending his entangle his engagement to Sharon uh, son who also is an R&B singer claimed that a world star called his Holland bred fi uh, fiance to offer her a record deal he should have known that was BS then flew the couple for all three to meet and begin recording her vocals for certified lover boy Imagine having the most beautiful, supportive, and faithful relationship uh, eight years long with engagement and wedding planned, a beautiful woman on your side as a ride or die. And then this major opportunity comes and a world star calls your fiance to sign a record deal, flies you both over, and then out of nowhere, all the trust is vanished with knives in the back. And in your heart, son wrote in his first of two Instagram posts. He divulged his heartache in additional posts. I am no longer with the person people think I am together with. I am no longer with the eight years uh, I thought I was together with. I am no longer with the engagement I thought I was together with. Now, this is the female here. Now, I heard a little bit of her. She has sort of like that. Sade type um, I wouldn't say a type of voice or I guess that's the type of music she's going for when I went on her Instagram okay she has about 34,000 followers and I believe she has a single out now but she's not too well known out here in these streets so you have to ask yourself, how did Drake find her? Did somebody send her a photo? Now, again, you know, Drake has been able to help boost the popularity of some guys that were unknown, right? He would take their song and remix it, right? But Drake didn't take any song here. Now, maybe he utilized her vocals or maybe he didn't because from what I understand, Drake don't like to work with women unless he's smashing and this dude should have known that. But he wanted the experience of being able to go out and see Drake. I think he got caught up in it. 
I truly do. Because his antennas should have been up in the air. When you have this guy out of nowhere contacting you about an opportunity, that should have been a red flag. That should have been a red flag, but it wasn't to him. And again, that's the that's the not the naive mentality, man. He not calling you. He's calling you because of your girl. And he probably couldn't name one song of hers that he heard. Maybe he did. You know, where he said, you know what? I got to sign her. Did he sign her? Is she OVO? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think she became OVO. <laughs> I think it's a lot of B <laughs> BSS going on here. <laughs> You know, that's what it seemed like. Uh, let's see. However, here's the screenshot uh, photos of the post from Sharon's ex fiance and photos of Sharon recording her vocals, which have been mysteriously removed from Drake's in-house photographer Theo's Instagram account. So Theo went and deleted this post. Why would Theo do this? I think Theo deleted that because she has nothing to do with OVO. And... Drake already has a reputation for being a bit of a home wrecker. And Drake is all image. You know, Drake cares about his image deeply. You know, even though he sabotaged his own image. Because a lot of these things about him going after women who are already in relationships, it seemingly is true. It seemingly is true. I mean, look at Kanye West. The, the perfect example is Kanye West and Kim K. You know? But if... if Drake's in-house photographer went and deleted that photo. That shows me that, you know, she didn't sign. It was a hookup and he sent her on her way. Now, I don't know if she, because, because again, that's not how you would treat an artist you're trying to sign. What it looked like to me is Drake used his connections, used his resources just so he can smash this chick while she was with her boyfriend. That's cold. But that's just how it is. That's how these industry guys are. That's why you dudes need to really not fall for this. I'm going to sign your girl. I'm going to fly both of y'all in. Because that's exactly what happened. Why would Drake out of nowhere call you about working with your girlfriend and signing her? And still, did she sign to Ovio? I don't think so. I don't think so. Right? This is a part of the post here. As a matter of fact, this is the video of him getting on that jet. You know? He had an interesting song over it. Let's see. Uh, Drake has not responded to the accusation of himself being the culprit of the culprit split. At press, uh, press time, his history of encountering beef against other men about women dates back 10 years. He's gotten into it with Common over Serena Williams. He got into it with Chris Brown over Rihanna, and he may have gotten into it with Tiger over Black China, and of course Kim K and um, Kanye West. Uh, this is a mess. But again, I want y'all to understand that you dudes are not going to be able to stop these women from sleeping with these rappers. Man, listen, if these rappers want to get at your girl, they gonna get at your girl. And and the and the and the whole thing about it is Drake flew you out too. So what I want to know is this: I want to know maybe how recent this was. Was this did this happen in the last year? Did it happen the last two years? Because has he been holding on to this information for that long? I don't. Maybe he just found out. It would not surprise me at all. If he he had a suspicion that it happened and she might have just blurted it out because when a woman gets upset with you, there are things that she will tell you to your face. And you would be like, whoa, I can't believe she would say that, but you got to understand the mind state of, of the modern woman. These women, if they can get the opportunity to rub elbows with their favorite artists, they will. She was doing studio sessions with Drake by herself. You weren't there. It should have been a red flag too. You in a completely different city. You and your girl got flewed in and she's doing studio sessions by herself. 
not saying that you have to be watching over her shoulder, but I mean, you let her out of your sight for about what 20, 30 minutes, and she's already letting the dude hit it. Probably let him hit it right there in the studio. What I want to know is how long have you been holding this information? Did you just find out? Because looking at the long messages that this dude left on Instagram, it looked to me that he may have just found this out recently. Okay. Now Drake put up a post. Uh, that's that's him, it's a boyfriend. Uh, and they, they said that he may have took a subliminal disc because he put up a post, I believe, with uh Michael B. Jordan where it says uh without remorse, right? Drake never does anything without it having a purpose. And I believe Drake may have put that up because he doesn't care. Drake is the type of guy that you don't want to leave your woman around. Not that, you know, you're afraid he's going to you know, be taken because the guy has, the guy will do anything to sleep with your girlfriend or wife, anything. And if you're, if your girlfriend or wife is a groupie, nine times out of 10, he's going to be able to smash off the strength of her already being a groupie. You got a struggling artist who has like 30,000 followers. She's not ugly at all. And what's funny is that she, she kind of favors Doja Cat. And she's kind of built like Doja Cat too. She's thick like Doja Cat as well. You know, she kind of has a body like her. But just taller and lean. The taller, just like she's a little bit more taller. But she's thick, you know. She, she actually has the body of Drake's uh, son's mother. Drake's son's mother, Sophie, Sophie and her have kind of like the same type of body. So, when the first time Drake saw your girl, he says, I'm going to smash. And he flew you out and pretended like he was going to give her a contract just so he can do it. That's cold. But, bro, you, you have to be able to read people, man. You wanted to go see Drake just as much as she did. And she knew that. You know, she, she, she knew that. That's why she had no problem hooking up with Drake. She saw him as a bigger deal. And that's why this happened.